yo guys what is going on and welcome to today's youtube video in today's video we are going to discuss my three favorite altcoins for the upcoming weeks and months that i will be looking to trade towards much and much higher prices i honestly believe that these three altcoins have massive potential gains for us for the upcoming weeks and months and i will exactly explain to you guys where and when to buy these altcoins okay so the three altcoins that we are going to discuss are Chainlink, Cardano and CRV. And this doesn't mean that you can straight away buy those coins right now. Every single coin, we are going to discuss the potential scenarios that I'm looking to trade, that I want to see happen on the charts before I engage in certain positions. Okay, so first of all, Chainlink. And what I really like about this high time frame chart is that the range that we are trading in is extremely clean as you can see over here so the range is extremely clean and this has been occurring after a massive downtrend for chainlink so if we check the weekly time frame we can see a massive downtrend and chainlink has been going down a lot it has been going down almost 90 percent let's say from the current price that it reaches a new all-time high that is already an increase of almost 650 percent so if you would, were to put in a thousand bucks right now and you would hold it until new all-time highs in which i believe that chainlink will reach new all-time highs in the future then you're already looking at an increase of six and a half thousand dollars okay so massive potential gains and i really like this range this is what we call a typical accumulation range after a massive downtrend we are looking at a big accumulation range for chainlink and when could we look at a potential breakout well if we take the range from range low to range high and i switch on my range and i extend it to the right over here we can see that chaining has been getting rejected by the mid range over here so this is the key level for chaining what i want to see happening on chaining is that we are going to get another test of the mid range over here around seven dollars and sixty cents and as soon as we get a confirmed breakout above this mid range and that means that i want to see one or two daily candles open and close above the mid range that is where i honestly believe that the next target will be the range high within a few days i think that if chaining were to be consolidating a little bit above this mid range that we are going to get a quick move towards that range high why because around that range high is where we have three relative equal highs as you can see so a lot of liquidity has been building up around these equal highs and this is definitely a very nice first target for the short term but like i said before you are starting to buy you want to see a reclaim above that mid range okay also we switch on the moving averages we can see around the mid range is also where we have the 200 ema on the daily time frame a very important ema in which you can also see that over here it acted as massive resistance and in the past it has been acting as massive support and resistance multiple times for the chaining price as you can see so get a reclaim above the mid range get a reclaim above the 200 ema and the range high is next if we are going to look for extended targets i would switch on the three day time frame go from swing high to swing low switch on my fib retracement levels and i want to see a retracement at least towards that 0 0.236 fib level okay so since forming the cycle low the price hasn't even retraced back towards that 0 0.236 fib level and it hasn't even retraced back towards that 0 0.382 fib level so these are the first two areas where i'm considering to take profits on my spot positions that i bought on chaining around that range low because that is where i've been buying a lot of, a lot of spot position on chaining in our vip channel also have been calling those buy orders actually and i'm looking to take my first profits around the 0 0.236 and around the 0 0.382 fib level okay so if you were to extend this range right so we have a range over here and usually when you are looking for a target for your range you want to duplicate your range um, clone over here and then put it exactly at the top of the range so that top of the of the second range if we extend it uh, and double it is also around the 0 0.236 fib level okay so a little lower yes i know but this is definitely my first high time frame target for chain link 
is also where we have the three day supply area as you can see over here and that is definitely my first target for chaining if you were to reclaim the mid range and you were to buy spot that is already an increase of 117 percent on chaining okay so if we reach this area take some profits maybe wait for a retest somewhere and that is where you can once again add your profits back into the market before continuation higher okay because you always want to sell high and buy low cardano a very very interesting chart um definitely been breaking out of a potential falling wedge pattern okay so we have been creating this falling wedge pattern as you can see something like this so definitely forming lower lows and lower highs and we did get a breakout we can also see that the strength on cardano is weakening a little bit so we are seeing maybe a potential rising wedge pattern so i do think you also want to be careful on cardano currently and don't want to be buying here if you were to look for a potential buy position i would also be looking at a reclaim of an important level which is this entire area over here so this area is where we had the previous range low so we can see cardano was finding support a lot of times within this range and this was definitely a very clear and strong demand area we can also see on the bearish retest it did get a big rejection and we saw a massive move towards the downside so before stepping into new spot positions on cardano you either want to wait for a deep pullback in which you want to buy potentially around this area over here which is an interesting area but i would prefer to see a strong reclaim of the previous range low in which if we get some consolidation above the range low that is where i'm scaling into a big spot position for my target for cardano my first target would be this key level over here so if i switch on a strong magnet this would be my first target this daily level of resistance is where i would be looking to take my first profits on my spot position on cardano if we are going to measure that from the range low that is also an increase guys of already 103 percent approximately which is massive of course if we are going to look at potential new highs in which just like for chainlink i also believe that for cardano we might reach new all-time highs let's say we get a reclaim of that range low and we target new all-time highs just like for chaining the same with cardano that is already a increase of over 600 percent as you can see so massive potential gains and yes this might take a few years maybe one or two years but i do believe that if bitcoin reaches new all-time highs also cardano just like chaining can definitely reach new all-time highs both have really strong fundamentals really nicely looking charts because also for cardano we are looking at an interesting pattern in which we had the accumulation range just like for chaining over here so this was our accumulation range right and then we were seeing the manipulation range over here accumulation manipulation and if you get a reclaim of the accumulation range that is where you always get that expansion and that expansion is where we are looking to profit on cardano this is what we call a po3 pattern and po3 patterns on the daily time frame are extremely strong okay crv extremely clean range so we have our range high a range low over here and our range high over here in which we can see it is currently hovering around the mid range and why didn't we see that expansion yet because we haven't properly reclaimed the mid range on the daily time frame just like for chaining i want to see a strong reclaim of that mid range on the daily time frame so i want to see a couple of candle closes strongly above the mid range and if we do then i'm expecting been, uh, expecting a quick expansion towards the upside for crv we were also seeing some nice manipulation happening over here in which we did get a very strong reclaim over here got a retest of that range low this is where i bought some spot position on crv and we did get a massive expansion so the first expansion towards the mid range was already approximately 100 percent let's say we do get that reclaim of the mid range on crv then I'm also looking to target that range high as my first day profit target. It is an increase of approximately 50%. But I'm expecting much and much higher for CRV. I do think this is definitely a very, 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 very solid project. I'm sorry for the alerts. 
um, a very solid project. And I do also believe that for CRV, it can reach new all-time highs. Let's say we do get a strong reclaim of the mid-range and we target new all-time highs in a few years. That is also an increase of over 537%, which are massive gains, obviously. Okay, big take profit target for me would be this high over here, in which we have a big imbalance above that high, some supply going on. If we check out the weekly time frame, we can also see that this is also our weekly buy side liquidity and we have a weekly fair value gap above that high and a weekly order block also above that high. From the mid range towards the first tech profit target is already an increase of approximately 250% guys. So there are still so many gains to be made. What we have been seeing the past few weeks might seem massive, a 100 increase, but we can also see that it is nothing compared to the previous bull runs on CRV, on Chainlink, and on Cardano. But we have to wait because a lot of altcoins, as you can see, are near key resistance areas. And like I always have been telling you guys, you never ever want to long resistance and you never ever want to short support. So are looking to buy bullish retests on these three altcoins or bullish reclaims. So wait for bullish retests, wait for bullish reclaims, and make sure you get positioned before that next leg towards the upside. Okay, guys, these are definitely three big altcoins on my watch list. If you want to know when, where, and how to buy these altcoins, make sure to join our VIP Discord. The link will be in the description towards our website or towards our free Discord, in which you can check out that one first, ask some questions before joining our FIP service. I'm sure you won't regret it. Because we have been, have been making a lot and a lot of gains lately. Okay, guys, definitely make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions after watching this video, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or in our free Discord. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On Wednesday, we are dropping a big Bitcoin and Ethereum update. So definitely excited for that one. Let's see what the market brings us the next week or so. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll speak to you guys on Wednesday. Ciao, ciao.